What's going on guys, it's Arik here, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded. I really should get back into the, into the habit of recording after I'm done recording all seven episodes and processing them. Because it's been, it's probably going to be a, like a, almost a week without videos on my channel, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, something else... You'll notice that my Subnautica videos don't have an outro, and when the Diablo 2 episodes come out, they won't have outros either. Uh, the person that used to make them is no longer in my life. It's kind of a touchy subject. I don't want to talk about it too much, but uh, yeah, there won't be any more outros unless I can get the money up for someone else to make them for me, because I'm not very good. At it, and I don't have a video editor program like like that person did in order to uh, actually, you know, make the outros. But uh, I will have a new intro. I don't know if I'll if I'll uh, have it within in this batch of videos, but I'll have it in some other batch of videos. I, I kind of want to make I kind of want to make as much use out of this uh, intro that Stephen made for me already. I want to get my I want to get a. Uh, get it used fairly well before I move on to another intro because Steven made me another intro and to be honest I don't want him to feel like this to feel like his earlier work was for nothing sure it was in quite a few of my videos and it was in a whole series but I still don't want it to still don't want him to feel like it was all for nothing so I might do it oh uh, if I end if I end, uh, if XCOM 2 ends, or Relics of Hyrule ends, I might end up swapping intros, I don't know. But I just want to make sure I get as much out of this, the first intro, as possible. So, anyway. We've got two more days till this machinery is clear. What else do we have here? Magnetic weapons. Oh, an intel cache. Or intel cache, I should say. Let's see here. Apparently, I could attack the Advent Black site. But, I want to try to get these supplies and stuff here. Not to mention. We have to worry about the Alien Hunters DLC that just popped up. I don't know why Alien Hunters popped up before, uh, after the, uh, Shen's last gift, but I already have the weapons for it right now. Avenger plotting new course. There we go. Now, there's three days left. Machinery cleared. Carry on. Extra supplies. Setting course for Sector 10, Eastern United States. Let's recruit Welcome some new staff. Us. We will record. We will recruit. Marcel Petrowski. Logan and Miyuki have joined us. Hmm. He's a specialist, but we don't need any more people right now. We just bought some. I kind of want to go after I'll go after the Avent Black Sight once the magnetic weapons are done Avenger plotting new course I have my kitty in here with me I have made a number of interesting discoveries commander 
Right, let's Magnetic read this. Oh, here we are. are. Not like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. Nice. That's beautiful. I want one. Having finally gotten close a close look at the gauze rifle technology Advent has employed among their forces, I'm fairly confident we can develop a magnetic weapon system of comparable power. The obvious question, why not simply use the Advent weapons directly, was discovered early on by resistance forces in the field. Some years ago, the aliens began integrating some sort of genetic verification technology into their weapons that prevent, prevents them from functioning by any species whose DNA has not been pre-encoded. Unfortunately, the system also exerts lethal force on an unsuspecting, unauthorized user. A fact we should disseminate as widely as possible among the resistance cells we have contact with. As for our variation on the technology, Dr. Shen and I have, compo have co taken components of the alien weaponry recovered from the field and utilize the key elements to develop a sustainable prototype. We can safely begin to reproducing the system as the needed materials become available. So we got the magnetic rifle, shard gun, mag pistol, helix railgun, stutter mag, and, and gauze weapon research. There's the stutter mag. The helix railgun. Mag pistol, shard gun, Magnetic rifle. Our forces recently uncovered information that could lead us to the location of one of the Advent's remote facilities. If we can successfully decrypt the recovered data, it will provide specific coordinates allowing for a tactical strike. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. It would take 20 days just to clear that without the without without the additional person, because I need to get to this exposed power coil to increase my power. Because I only have I don't have much power left. Commander, I'm going to need more help on the engineering team before I can start clearing out some of these other rooms. We should recruit an engineer. I'm on it, Shen. Okay, I have a lot of other things on my mind too. You know. Experimental ammo complete. Talon rounds. These rounds fracture into wicked micro shards of alien alloy upon impact, granting 20% critical chance and 1 to bonus damage on critical hit. One talon round has been added to the inventory. Okay. We've only got two people who are wounded now. Almost everyone has been... Almost everyone's uh, nice and comfy. Let's see. Yeah, this looks like there should be two more weapons here, but our research is progressing as expected, Commander. Thank you. Okay, let's. We'll keep Jane out of. We'll keep. Uh, Sergeant Kelly out of out of uh, combat for a bit. I mean, yeah, she's lightly wounded, but I also want to get rid of the shaken thing. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to go to. Hey, Commander. Lily. the magnetic rifle, the mag pistol, and the helix railgun. I 
wonder if this is what it was like in the old days. Always on edge, ready for a fight on a moment's notice. Certainly keeps you on your toes. Mm-hmm. Come on. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Although it was a time-intensive process, I was able to successfully decrypt the advent data recovered by our troop in the field. By our troops in the field. As expected, the information includes the exact coordinates for one of advent's remote facilities. With this knowledge in hand, we should be able to deploy a strike team to infiltrate and destroy the facility. I have no doubts that the loss of this site will, de will deal a significant blow to the alien's effort towards the Avatar project. R. Tigan. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Let's see what the proving ground has. Yeah, I could build a spark. If I had the stuff. Battlefield Medicine. This is what I'm gonna need later. I already did experimental ammo. So I need to get the grenade and heavy weapon. Do this. I need one Illyrium core, which I might be able to get when I go out on a mission. Strategic resource located. Destroyed convoy, 51 supplies. That really wasn't worth it. Commander, now that we've established contact with the local resistance, we've got the details we need to move on the alien's facility. This is our chance to set back their work on the Avatar project. You know what? We'll attack this one. Setting course for the Western. I US promised you guys Pacific. that I would do it once I actually had the freaking materials and shit. So here we go. One and spark two. Let's Let's give her a Talon round. Actually, you know what? No, let's give her a Tracer round. The one who needs the the one who needs the Talon round is Michael. Can't equip any any other kind of armor right now. Let's upgrade everyone's. Looks like everyone's shit's already upgraded at the moment. Yeah. Just making sure everyone's been upgraded. My dad's coming on the mission. Kevin, he's he doesn't have the upgraded yet, but
Oh, it's for the sparks. Okay. So they both got upgraded weapons. Not everyone else does, though, but... We're gonna have to deal with it. Also... I don't think we have... We just have my dad and him and uh, Seth. So yeah, we're gonna have to remove Scott. Holy shit, this is loud, hold on. Sorry, I know it just dropped out of nowhere, but that's because uh, I went into OBS to lower the volume a little bit. Let's throw it a little bit more. There we go. We need another hacker. You know, let's put Barboza in here. My dad also gets a med kit. And Seth can have a skull jack. There we go. You know what? We're gonna upgrade the shot. Upgrade the shotguns. There now, Kevin. Now Kevin and everyone else has upgrade has upgraded uh, shotguns. Yep. He's got a nice upgraded shard gun. There you go, man. Too bad I don't have any armor, but the plated armor is going to take a while to get done, like twelve days. I'll do that when I'm sitting there, when I'm sitting there at that. Uh, I'll do that when I'm when I'm uh, when I've got several supplies out there. But I think I'll cut it right here, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by. This is going to be a difficult mission, so I don't know how long this is going to take. But we will. But I will see you in my next video. And remember, you don't lose, you learn. Gamers, game on. And be sure to hit that subscribe button for more content. Boom. Damn! Six damage. Let's do this!